Hello and welcome to today's session. My name is Redu Bhandari and I represent the Open University UK. My presentation is titled Vasudev Kutumbakam, The Entire World is One Family, Raising Global Children Through Multi-Layered Education Approach. Today, I plan to cover the context of the changing world. I will discuss a little bit about layering literacy. I will talk of identifying with all humanity. And finally, I'll wrap up the presentation by talking of what can we all do, the six actions to take further forward with us. So what is the context of the changing world? Uh, Vasudev Kutumbakam in Sanskrit, uh, and it means the entire world is one family. All of us know of the UN Sustainable Goals uh, identified in 2015, and with them come the 17 developmental goals, which all countries are aiming to achieve by 2030. These sustainable goals uh, need to include everyone and should leave no one behind. But the world around us is changing and rapidly changing. We have technological advancements in social media, artificial intelligence, virtual reality tools, advancements in robotics, they're all impacting our learning and the way we live as human beings. Changing multicultural societies is another challenge uh, in the context of the changing world. We see immigration, movement of human population, and this has led to evolvement of societies where all need to be inclusive, tolerant, and learn from new cultural sensitivities. Social, economic, and environmental factors also highlight the dependencies of countries on each other. War, pandemic, and related global crisis over the last couple of years have also made the world ever-changing and challenging for all of us. So what is this concept of layering literacy? Kemp in 2005 highlight that in, sh in shaping a world citizen while maintaining the sustainable development of all human beings, we need to consider ourselves as part of two societies. One society it gives them the identity as a country individuals they are born in or they live majority of their lives. And the other is identity of human beings in a shared world. Educating children with just reading, writing and related knowledge of disciplines is not sufficient in the 21st century. Parents and all adults need to make a multifold effort to lay knowledge and literacies in children that makes them competent in finding creative collaborative solutions to not only their problems, but the issues and problems of the world. This layering of literacies makes children competent in skills where diverse conflicting views are not perceived as challenges, but as additional practices that makes equitable society and humanity. The multi-layering of present generation of children with multiple literacies and equipping them to think creatively, problem solving inclusively and collaboratively taking the whole worldwide view as one is the biggest challenge for all adults around the child. Combining knowledge of disciplines like sciences, maths, languages, IT skills with innovative thinking of their use to problem solve and create inclusivity is extremely important. Teaching children values individually held and community values locally and globally are extremely important for parents and educators. Respecting democratic values and different value systems is also becoming extremely important for children in the present time. Identifying with all humanity is a concept that has been researched by many researchers over the past few years. Studies by Sparkman and Hammer 2020, Hammer et al 2019, talk and discuss in detail what the concept of identifying with all humanity is. They talk of globalism, openness to experiences, empathy and universalism as key components of identifying with all humanity. Multicultural experiences are correlated to identifying with all humanity in some studies as well. Parents and adults who facilitate positive parenting interactions, creating these multiple literacies to facilitate children's identifying with all humanity are able to raise global citizens who are responsible not only for themselves, their families, but also for the world as one big family. This approach to education can go a long way in making inclusive, equitable and just societies. Children of the world should be open to cultures, views, values, varied perspectives and possess the critical and creative evaluation to sift the aspects of global living 
that will not only work for them, their families, but also for the world as a whole. So identifying with all humanity is the ability to defend rights, justice, and well-being of others as core values can lead to global citizens for all children. Parents, teachers, educators, and all adults hold this responsibility of ensuring that knowledge of disciplines like maths, sciences, languages, geography, social sciences are tools for achieving as identifying with all humanity. Our global citizens of the future will have well-being of self and others, they will consider justice for self and others. They will also be able to defend rights for self and others. So what can we all do uh, simplistically to take and raise global citizens and children? The first action is educate children from an early age about the relevance and importance of self-advocacy and their own rights. Adults can act as role models in shaping and building time for their well-being and building and respecting democratic values. The third action we can all do is justice for all, which means recognizing the rights and enabling justice in all actions at micro and macro level by encouraging children to follow the same role. Agency to the children can be the action for global issues impacting all across the world should be made inseparable part of education and discussion within families, communities, and institutions. Varied media delivery engagement of these global issues should be discussed and decided by children, teachers, practitioners, and policy makers all together. The fifth action is all about multicultural experiential opportunities. Giving children national, regional, and state level opportunities to engage in multicultural experiential learning can be one closer step to raising global citizens. The last sixth action, which is very, very important, is celebrating democratic values and diversity all across us. This can help children celebrate diversity, understand democratic values, and also understand that these diverse differences are one step closer in building better knowledge of the world around us. So finally, the whole world is one family and the value systems and the discussions should be keeping children at the center of all that we do. To raise global citizens is a responsibility of all adults, children and everyone, and children should be given the right to decide what is best for them in terms of their advocacy, in terms of their future decisions. Thank you for participating and listening to the speech. If you have any further queries, do reach out to me on my email, which is renu.pandari at open.ac.uk. Thank you.